Hi, Geminis. I'm here to do your monthly love reading for February 2020. I hope you guys are doing well. With that being said, let's just jump in and get to you guys' reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please come in and give me a precise love reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini for February 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so Gemini, there is Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Strength, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, a lot of Sevens. So Seven, Seven, Seven can be significant to you or the number Seven. King of Swords, Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Overall Energy, is the six of wands so um you guys could be dealing with the fire sign aries leo sagittarius your energy is here gemini libra aquarius cups energy is here which is water cancer pisces scorpio earth um taurus virgo capricorn okay Give me just a moment. I'm trying to pick up on this energy here. Hmm. I'm seeing someone here being deceptive, trying to get away with something. I'm picking up someone has options here, Gemini. Either you or the cross watchers. I see someone is in this single energy, though, with the Nine of Pentacles. I don't feel like you're in a relationship, but it's like... I feel like you are you are in a situationship, rather, so to speak, where um, you're talking to someone, you guys are, you know, dating, but I don't see anything committed. I see you have a lot of options, Gemini. Either it's you or the cross watcher has a lot of options, and you guys are hiding to the other person that you're talking to like they're the only one that you're talking to when the, that's really not the case. But I don't see that lasting long. I see you eventually bringing this person an offer, Gemini, or this person bringing you an offer. Okay, it's what I'm seeing here. I see you guys moving forward victoriously with this person. But I do see some deceptive energy here around this single energy. I see a lot of options here with the Seven of Cups. There's a whole lot of options, a whole lot to choose from. Give me the Cross Watchers energy for Gemini for February 2020 in love. Give me cross watchers energy. Seven of Cups came out. I'm telling you guys, I can't make this up. Someone has a whole bunch of options, whether it's you or the cross watcher. But I feel like at the end they're gonna choose you or you're gonna choose that choose the cross watcher. Eight of Cups, I'm telling you, because they're leaving the other cups behind. Eight of Cups. You see this person walking away and leaving the other cups behind. They're leaving with just one cup. Okay. I'm telling you what I'm picking up here. Two of Pentacles. This person has been juggling. Your cross watcher has been juggling. Okay. They could be juggling their head and their thoughts. But I see juggling here. I see multiple options. I see a whole lot of options. A couple more shuffles. So, we have the Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. I told you guys that this person is going to choose you out of these options. They're getting ready to walk away from that. Five of Cups. Because they're feeling regret, remorse. They're regretting how they're treating you, you know, at this moment. Or you could have walked away from this person as well. Or you could have gave them an ultimatum. 
six of pentacles. Yeah, they're bringing in balance. They're giving you more than what they were at first. Queen of Wands. This person sees you as the Queen of Wands. Someone very beautiful, passionate. The Magician. Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands. Okay, I'm telling you guys, this person is leaving behind those options here. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. So this person's feeling regret and remorse for what they did to you. They know that they have to go ahead and make that choice and they don't want to lose you. So with that being said, this person's coming in bringing balance. They're coming towards a fortunate period to have this Ten of Cups relationship with you. They're manifesting this new beginning in love, this passionate new beginning. Because they do see they self with you. Okay, Gemini. Give me Gemini's energy towards the cross watcher. What are their energy towards the cross watcher? You could have, yeah, gave them an ultimatum or gave them some type of indication that you would leave because you probably wanted something more committed. The lovers. So, yeah, you feel like they have you in this third-party situation. You feel like y'all just lovers. Like a six thing. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. But you wanted something stable from this person. And I see you're going to get it. A couple more shuffles. So you have the High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, exactly. This person's bringing balance between you guys. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, The Hermit, Seven of Wands. And you have the Seven of Wands here. Overall energy is the Sun. So commitment is coming. Something stable and committed is coming towards you because you have quite a bit of Pentacles here. But you're in hermit mode. You know, you stuck here with the Eight of Swords and the Hermit card thinking, you know, about this individual and their player ways with the Knight of Wands because their energy is so back and forth and in and out. And it's like y'all could have been having arguments as well with the Seven of Wands here and right there about this. You could have been, you know, telling them how you feel. Like I said, you could have been giving them an ultimatum about this. But there's a lot of secrecies here as well with the high priestess. I see deception here, but I do see commitment. I see after all this deception has cleared and ended, this person's offering you something stable and committed. You feel this person is real secretive too. You feel like they hold, they hiding a lot of things during this player energy. They're back and forth and they're real secretive. And you want something stable. You don't have time for that. That's what I'm seeing, how you feel about this person. I feel like this person here has more love for you than you do them, though. That's what I see. I know you like them, but I just feel like they have more deeper feelings for you than you do them. Give me love messages for Gemini. Give me love messages for Gemini. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's a lot of passion here. A whole lot of passion. I see that here. It's a lot of fire. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You realize, you know, that you was getting caught up in third-party situations. You feel like this person wasn't giving you really what you wanted, which was something stable, and you freed yourself. And that's why this person's in their feelings, feeling regret and remorse here. And they're coming to offer you something stable. They're leaving those options behind. One more shuffle. One more card, Spirit. Okay. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I feel like this is for the cross watchers. They're releasing all those people. Those options. It's more than one person. They're releasing them. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. Give me 
message for Gemini. Message for Gemini. Remember who you are. You are powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. And I feel like you realized that by, about yourself and you freed yourself. And that's when this person was like, hey, I, you know, I do love Gemini. I do want to be with them and I'm going to lose them due to these other options that I have. And they are walking away from that. They're releasing that and they're coming towards you with stable commitment. Okay, Geminis, if this resonates with you guys, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be blessed.